Welcome to Small Talk Daily for Monday, October 11, 2010. This morning I wanted to look at a simple COM interface between VisualWorks 771 and the speech interface of Microsoft Windows. So to show you what I'm doing, I will turn the sound on and show you that this works. You might be able to hear this a little bit, so I'm going to create a new instance of the speaking interface. And I'm just going to have it say, hello from Syncom Smalltalk. Hello from Syncom Smalltalk. So I'll turn the speaker off now so that we don't have to hear any other ambient noises in Windows. But the interesting thing is how I got that to work. So here let's take a look at the class. I've just created a new class. It's a subclass of object. It's nothing particularly special there. The interesting thing is in initialize, I tell it to set up the driver. And if I go over here to this private com thing, I have set up driver. And this is a fairly long, hairy method. I will take the code for this and put it in the notes for the post so that you can actually see what this code is. But basically, I go to the registry interface and I search for the speech library. And then within that, I search for the particular interface and then I create a dispatch driver down here. And again, I'll put this code in the, in the uh, notes so that you can actually see what I'm doing. Once I've done all that, I can then use any available API, and the API happens to be speak colon with a capital S. Now, the more interesting question is how did I know that? Well, the way I knew that is I use some of the tools that come with VisualWorks. I go to the COM interface here, Browse Automation Classes, and if I scroll down to the M's, let's go down to Microsoft and we'll keep scrolling down to the MS and you should see speech object library. So once I go down to the Microsoft speech object library I find SP voice in here and over here I can find speech voice and if I scroll through here I can see all kinds of interfaces I could use. I have pause, I have priority, I have voices, I can specify things but more importantly for our purposes we have specific syntax. Speak colon, hand it a string and it'll speak out that string. So what you can do is you can experiment with stuff by looking at it here and you can even go ahead here and create and inspect an instance and start sending messages to it. I've shown you that before in other screencasts. And then once you've done that, you can then go ahead and build an actual Smalltalk interface doing this kind of thing and then use it in your applications. So that's about it for today. Until next time, have fun with Smalltalk.